Hello again, Glitch Reaper here. And I, I, I admittedly still have some reasons to hold a torch and a pitchfork. Uh, but mainly, uh, well, one of the things I was using to record isn't letting me do that anymore now. And I, I, I'm still going to try to see if I can figure out some technical things with my original light cam. I'm... <laughs> But, uh, I might be able to save that. I might be able to save that. I, I, that was one I considered one of the most convenient to use. Uh, right now I'm going with flashback for a moment. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, the, it, it, trying to get new stuff after the old stuff is, had a, a massive desynchronization issue and other things. It's been a little tricky, but I, I'm getting there. Uh, but it, that's not really the primary news I was going to go over, just saying that if things are a little bit different on recording, uh, there's various reasons as to why. Uh, another thing is, uh, well, is my new location should show you, uh, Aquatic Update is still the big thing. In this case, uh, interesting news, uh, you might be seeing from the upper left corner of my screen that we are in pre-release mode now. Yeah, there's multiple reasons why I purposefully leave that in my recordings. <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised how much I have never had the question of what version this is to send. <laughs> because the answer is right there. If you're if you're not seeing that, you're not paying attention. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. But uh, yeah. Technically, we are in pre-release mode for the update Aquatic, and while there has been some stuff out already in uh, Bedrock Edition, uh, that is a bit different, and somebody did say something about that earlier. I'd like to say that, from what I understand about Bedrock Edition, they're doing it in a group of waves. Like, it won't be all in one shot. It'll actually be in several parts. You will, uh, Bedrock Edition users, you will get the whole thing. It's just not gonna be all in one shot. It'll be I, I try and remember it was three or four updates, or maybe just two, but either way, it'll be in more than one part, but they will be very close with each other in terms of timing, so uh, it won't be much of a delay in between, they just had some things they couldn't all put out at once, so, yeah. Now, as for Java Edition, we are in pre-release mode now. It is completely uh, 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 ready in terms of content. It is feature complete. So that part has been determined, and I will be probably doing a version review of this later. However, and, oh, and by the way, th th this seed is just really interesting because, um, yeah, this really is a uh, surface level set of ruins. So that was a thing <laughs> that, I, that I found out a, a while ago while I was explaining this. This is a beautiful seed. I, I definitely want to do this as one of my first uh, seed showcases because this this one is just fantastic. Uh, so yeah, I, I'll, I, will, I will totally be doing this one. And it wasn't the one I was originally thinking I'd be doing first, but hey, whatever works. I mean, it starts you out as a survival island archipelago, so you kind of got to go with it. But uh, other news in a a uh, kind of more uh, worrisome uh, sort of way. I will be going through some dental work soon. Like, I'm literally preparing now. And that could mean that I might have issues with uh, darn lips. Oh, that alone is one of the reasons why I'm having this darn lips thing, is I'd had some dental work done and I'd, it's kind of made things tricky. But I'm going to be having to have some more done and that could could throw some things off. Hopefully just temporarily. I mean, it's going to be kind of this big stage thing that might kind of have a bit of a uh, more of a speaking issue in between, but then I should kind of get back to the way things uh, were before after a while because of, uh, well, it's going to involve some reconstruction. So, yeah, that, that's, well, kind of. Replacement's more like it. But anyhow, it's going to be extensive is what I'm getting at. But there will be kind of delays in between, and I'm not sure just how much it's going to affect me. Could just be I just sound weird, <laughs> and otherwise I'm still fine but in the intermediate uh, time. So it may not be as bad. It could be just what I'm thinking. It may not. So, yeah. And as I was saying before, uh, on the better note, uh, Update Aquatic is pretty much in showtime. I mean... I'm holding a trident right now, but that kind of indicates how hyped I am for this. So, yeah. 
So, and, and, and there's, there's going to be a lot to it. I mean, for it's been a long time since we've had an update this big in terms of pure content. And I'm going to go over the history of that too, as well as how mods and vanilla shape each other and some influences that this update may have had. Again, I've kind of got a different style of things, and this is where I really want to go over this and my love of both vanilla and mods together in a very special way. Because I'm going to be pointing out various mods that may have influenced the update Aquatic, and maybe even point out that some mods are going to have to basically deal with the update Aquatic after this. Now, I'm not just talking about, like, technical stuff, about how they're doing files and things. I'm talking about, like, just the sheer consequences of the content they've added. And it, it's been a long time since we had a big doozy like this one. I mean, seriously. I mean, a lot of people think 1.8 was the big coding barrier, and it was for coding. In terms of content, not as much. 1.7... That was a big content and coding update. I mean, gosh, it was huge. But this is why there's it still has so many fans, is because it was so huge that it just took so long for everybody to recover after it. It's like, oh my gosh, it has everything. <laughs> well, this update is going to do for the sea what the, uh, what the update that changed the world did for pretty much everything else. Although, admittedly, it did add some oceanic biomes, but they were kind of meh at the time. Uh, this one refines that idea, so we basically have at least uh, better oceans in terms of, like, temperature coded now. So, and, and a bit more than that. I mean, some of them actually have some features in it that is nice to see the return of. I mean, I mean, let's face it, 1.7.10 was great with a lot of things. Uh, well, not just one point. Just not the, not necessarily just the point ten version, but you know, one point seven started up. The, the 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 point afterwards is for refinements on the whole thing. Uh, but anyhow, uh, it kind I mean it was great. One point seven was great, and it added a lot of things that I've always loved since. But there was at least one thing it kind of messed up, and that's being corrected now with the update Aquatic. And yes, it is the oceans. They kind of screwed up how people liked the oceans. The idea of there being a nice sandy surface underneath it was great for a long time. And then they ruined it in 1.7 with just gravel, so yeah. But at least now we're getting some of that back. Some of the ocean will be having sand, so that's great. I, I like how they finally figured out that that, that uh, over-graveling was just too gravelly. And... Uh, in terms of voice work, we are not all Michael Ironside, so, you know, we're not all into the gravelly thing. Uh, so <laughs> I, it, most people probably don't know who that guy is until they notice he's in a lot of movies. Uh, but, I mean, he just he just has one of those voices. That, that's why he's selected. So hence why I used gravelly, because people tend to use that term with a gravelly voice as this low rumbly voice that always sounds rough and tumble and all that. I'm not even sure if that came out in the audio. I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> and I certainly can't do his, but... Okay. Slight tangent there because of gravel. Thanks, gravel, for that one. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna gravel to everybody. I'm, I'm just going to, to do my usual heading off now because this is starting to get weird. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to describe some things that are coming up, including... I didn't work, the fact that uh, the update Aquatic is pretty much upon us, and that I am still scrambling after this whole thing to get my program straight. But again, all this stuff will probably just kind of work out in the end. It's, it's just one of those things. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of an optimist in the way that I understand that the chaotic events of the universe always will realign for somebody at some point. It's just a matter of patience. Or maybe not, if they do it very quickly, because, again, chaos means you don't know when it's going to happen, so, you know. <laughs> so, you never know, this whole thing could be working out way faster than I expect, and it could blow over real quick, and I'd be like, now why did I ever really worry anybody about that, seriously? But anyhow, for now, let's not worry about this, and let's just kind of go with my usual exit. So, this has been Glitch Reaper. I'll be logging off for now. Hope to hear from you all later. So, bye for now, everybody. And please, remember, of course... Hello, everybody. Ah, join the parrot party. Thank <laughs> you.